Hi, I'm Chris B, and in this episode of my TDI Corrado conversion, I'm putting the ported cylinder head back on the block. If you've not been following the project yet, I'm putting in a later TDI engine and six speed gearbox from a Mark IV Golf into my 1989 Corrado with the aim of getting a high miles per gallon daily driver. Should be quite fun. If this project does interest you, tap the subscribe button and the bell notification for any new videos. Now for the bad news. IT carnage has happened. Seem to have lost most of the footage of rebuilding the cylinder head, lapping in the valves. And I thought that was the most interesting bit to be honest. However, I will try and get hold of a head to at least run through the way that I do it and give you a better idea. Basically, use a stick, bit of paste and a lot of elbow grease. No fancy machinery, all stuff that you can do at home. I've at least taken off the inlet again to show you some of the finished work. Let's have a look. Fair amount of material has been removed, but the shape of the flow has remained the same and all the finish is consistent on all the intakes throughout. Even though it looks like it's got ridges, it's smooth to touch. It's the wire wheel brushed defect that we can see. The exhaust has a lot smoother finish to help with the sooty gases to escape. It was a case of running 800 and 1200 wet and dry with a bit of soapy water just to make it even smoother. It's all been degreased, these have been cleaned inside. No water, no oil where the cylinder head bolts go on. I'm just going to clean up the edge just marginally here with a very basic honing tool. Doing no more than just tidying up the very edge where the combustion is on. Not grinding into it, not wearing into it. Just more of a clean maintenance. Give this a thorough degrease. Now the head gasket, as I may have said before, is available in three different sizes. Uh, most people, if they don't know, will just go and get the biggest one. It is quite difficult to measure. I've actually measured it, so you basically get that onto top dead centre. No, sorry, not top dead centre. Dial gauge on there, how far up these come. There are various tools. Uh, calibrated dial gauge but you've got to know the distance between there and there you can do them with digital vernier calipers if they're good mine originally had a two hole it was right on the tolerance of, of the top end of the, the two hole so I've gone up to three because the head has been skimmed and that's just gonna drop a little bit we've took almost nothing off but it may just just move into the next bracket. So let's get it on. Cam belt tools, certainly essential. The cheap eBay kit. Less than nine quid. Everything you need for one use. Right, apologies. 
I won't be able to put the head cylinder head on all the way. I've seemed to have misplaced, lost these little washers. No, I can't just fit any other washer, it's got to be the right washer to spread the load. So, what I will do, torque it down to the first torque settings only, which is about 30 newton meters, and still build the rest of the head up ready because I need to get it in the car in position. So let, let's continue. I have got new head bolts. This is one of the few things that are different between the 130 and the 150PD. Slightly different part number, only to the 150. Whether you can take just that little bit more pressure because I know the map gives it a little bit more boost. Because I don't know what I'm gonna do with the engine. Whether I'm gonna go for a bit more horsepower or just keep it fairly stock. I'll put the 150 bolts in for exactly the same price. Again, main dealer for this. I've never used anything else, so I can't comment on general motor factor ones. They should be good quality. Had all the parts cleaned. Sad, there was a lot of stuff in there. But I don't actually know whether I'm going to keep this manifold or modify it to something else. If you've got any experience with intake manifolds and what's required in a diesel at maximum miles per gallon, is it a long runner, a short runner? Let me know in the comments below. proper VW parts that I could fit, which just sits on there, but I'm not going to do that as yet, I'm going to leave the EGR on, and it's 
very first map cut down all the points that all the EGR gases actually get let into the system. But for now, I'm going to leave it off. There's a close up of that one. Link's going to be in the description below. I'm going to make a slight little modification, partly because of the Corrado clocks, whether this works or not. I have a low pressure sensor, and on the back of the head is the last point of the oil feed. So that's where it should be. That's that's the wrong one. It's the high pressure one. I'm going to put that in for now to remind me it needs to have the right one. Must have a point 0.3 somewhere. cover on just loosely make sure nothing gets in there two bolts happy with don't want any nuts or bolts falling down there as a working I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. Done. Happy? You tired and bored now? Let's go and play on the slide. Daddy's bored you enough. I don't care.